So, feel this up. Huh? My suggestion is reading once every three months. The same thing. Maybe you can just have a, you can photocopy this, you know, yourself. Or in another book, Secret Day, <coughs> how you feel about your thoughts, about your life, about the death of maybe a relative, a friend, a husband, a wife, a parent or a child. Yeah. Myself, my worst uh, personal worst feeling of death was the death of my own pet dog when I was 13 years old. This dog is the dog that knows which year is my morning session and which year is my afternoon session. Okay, this pup. Okay, this dog is the one that knows when I'm happy and when I'm sad. This dog is the one that shared the same pillow with me. Okay, this dog had some skin problems and my father didn't thought that it was not necessarily not necessary to heal, spend a lot of money to heal the dog's skin problem. So we just sent the dog for to, to put it down. So I had to carry the dog and, and give it to the vet. And the dog knew something was wrong because the dog saw that I was crying and crying and crying. I was 13 years old. That was the worst feeling of, of death for me. Okay? Because there's this animal that is alive. Sure, its skin got some problem, but there is this one being's life that needed my protection so much, but I was powerless to protect it. Okay? That's why I felt in my heart, right, it is there's no other, for my own experience, no other religion as kind as Buddha. Okay? All other religions talk about sacrifice and offerings. Buddha talk about love and compassion and kindness. Right? I always relate the Buddha's teaching with my own life. That's why I can feel Buddhism alive. As a Lama, I'm talking about Buddhism. In the beginning of all the talks, I never spoke about Buddhism. Okay? How some people wonder, how Lama you can become like the living Buddha? Okay? I'm the living Buddha because the Buddha is alive in me. Okay? When I eat, Buddha eats. When I sleep, Buddha sleeps. Buddha rest. My Buddha nature rest. Okay? So this is the same for you. Okay? Try to understand your own nature. It's sometimes, yes, we cannot control ourselves. But it's okay. When you get thrown over, just accept and love yourself again. Okay? And start start again and repeat and try again and again. Definitely, we are all going to die. It is the curse that is set upon by ourselves, upon ourselves. To me, I'd like to share that my personal thought, why I follow Buddhism in the earlier years, was that Buddha was the only Lord that says, my message is here for you to be free from the cycle of birth and death. Buddhism only became very alive to me after the experience of my, the death of my pet dog. And you know what was his name? Buddy. So he was truly my buddy. On the seventh day after his death, because I prayed for Buddy like a human being, seven days after Buddy's death, he came back to look for me. Okay, I was sleeping and he laid me all over. And in a dream, I was doing my homework, he was sitting just, just like that. And I woke up crying very, very sadly. Okay? So I have now let go of Buddy. I allow Buddy to go. But I will always cherish my Buddy in my heart. Just like I cherish my life and cherish all of you. Okay? That's why 
I'm never tired to do any work for all of you because I cherish all of you in my heart. This is my secret. I know what is birth and death. Okay? And it's difficult to have a baby, more difficult to survive a death. Okay? So this is something, it's my own heartfelt experience. I thought to share to you. Okay? Death will come. We have to accept it, but we must learn how to deal with it. Okay? And I have the methods of coming back. Okay? Of coming back. Naturally, we will be reborn. But reborn as a plankton down in the deep blue sea. Okay? Or be reborn as a coral. Be reborn as a bird. I've been through it all. So have you. Okay? So my experience was very, very tough. Okay? Birth, old age, sickness and death okay, will come. Therefore, Buddhism is not about death. It's about celebrating life. We treasure life, we love life and you have to live life to the fullest. This is Buddhism. Understand? Yes. Yes. If you are happy about life, you are happy about your own life, happy about helping others' lives, you will live a very meaningful and full life. Okay? And this is Buddhism. Not about chanting for the day. Okay? Many people think Buddhism is about chanting for the day. That is wrong. And there are also many irresponsible monks, irresponsible teachers who care only for their own pocket. I don't, I don't deny that. Okay? But I need you to change Buddhism. Okay? Just as maybe you need me to know how to come back next life. And the most fun thing is, let me tell you, my own joy, you see your best friend in the next line and you can give each other a big loving hug. Okay, next line you'll be like that. Okay, next line you'll still be old farts, I'll still be younger. <laughs> Thank you.